Rocky 1000 and today I have a Timu haul. I'm doing it this way so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, yeah, so we're going to open this up and see what it is. Okay, hopefully you got in frame. It's a Timu box. I don't think I've ever had a Timu box. So, it's only one item in here. I don't remember what I paid for it either. Look it up. So, let's see if we can open this up. It's well taped. My goodness. It looks like it's been through the mill a little bit. They're afraid of somebody getting into it. It came on time. I didn't have no issue. I had one issue on one of them, and they, they gave me my $5, and I got it. It did come, but it just was a little slower. I almost cut my finger there. That's why I don't like knives. I don't do well with knives. if I can get this side. My goodness. Let's just tear it. Maybe not. So much tape on here. Don't want to cut the product either. My gosh. This is like work. My goodness. You gave me a dull knife there, Shea Bear. Well, you used it. You need to sharpen it for me. Goodness me. It doesn't even want to do anything. But your knife. I don't even use it. Yeah, why don't I buy it for you? I don't like knives. I don't do well with knives. There. Woo! That was a workout, guys. Okay, so what I bought is a new bucket and a mop. I thought maybe this might work out pretty good. So I'm going to probably have to back it up a little bit. Let's take it out of the box here. I'm going to back it up a little bit here so you guys can see a little bit better. There you go. Take this out, and it's got other, nothing else in there, so I can get rid of the box now. That made me work out. I'm tired now. I won't have time to mop now. So, this is called a Joe Boss. I thought it was interesting. It gives you three pads extra. That's nice. And you can throw these in the washing machine, which I liked. So, we will see how well this is going to work. You throw them in the dishwasher? No, we put them in the washing machine over there, jokester. Then it gives you another one that's already on the pad. So, see, you can take them off. They're Velcor, just like so. Yep, Velcor. <laughs> As I, he says I say it wrong. I said, no, I don't. Hmm. This might be a job for J-Bear. All right, so you just screw these together. Very simple. Put them on top of each other. I don't know which way, but I think this is okay. I don't think it really matters. It seems to be fitting, so that's good. Now, there's got to be another one here because I ain't that short. There you go. There's the top piece right there. And you just keep screwing them in. So the reason why I like this one, I thought it was interesting, is because the bucket... 
bucket, you put it in sideways so it has a dirty and a clean. Did not give me directions at all. I hope, oh, this is nice. So it gives you also two drains on either side. So that's nice too. And yeah, so maybe it doesn't matter what one's clean. It has Chinese stuff on here. I don't know what those mean. So if anybody knows, let me know. Uh, I don't know what side is clean and what's dirty. It doesn't really say. They look basically the same, except this one has teeth on it. So obviously you have to use one for the dirty and one for the clean. You think this would be for the dirty with the teeth on it? That's what you... And it probably tells you here with this Chinese symbol, but we can't read those. And then this is like like a vent kind of inside there. That's cool. Anyway, so I want to try this out and see how well it worked. And we're going to demonstrate this. I do have another bucket that I use, and it has a round mop on there, like the old heavy ones, but it's not as heavy. And um, I've had it for, what, seven, eight years now since I bought the house. And I like it, but I can't do, like, baseboards. And this, I can do baseboards. I can angle it. I can get underneath my cabinet and wipe it off. You can use this as a dry or you can use it as a wet. So, um, yeah, so this is going to be fun to try out. And the other mop that I have, um, you throw the, um, the heads in the washing machine, and that's not the problem. I only have one left, and now I can't find them. I can't find that size. So I was like, well, I'll just buy a new one. I got it in white to match the kitchen a little bit. And, um, you know, and this way I can use this up and down, you know, or I can use it this way, you know. So I thought maybe this might be good to use. So we'll try this out. I'm going to get some water and, um, yeah, and I'll look up the price so I can tell you the price when I get back. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so we were looking online to see um, what those symbols meant, but he couldn't find the translation for it. Um, so, but I did find the price for it on my, I paid $27.53 for this. So, um, yeah, I didn't think it was too bad. I mean, it's a mop and that bucket. So, um, another thing we, we had to do, we had to figure out what was dirty and what was that. I found one on, um, on YouTube that they were from their factory that showed it so the thing was um, the teeth where the teeth are is the one that is um, dirty and this one that has no teeth it's more flat is for the clean so hopefully you guys can see that I did put water in here does not say where where the level is but I did leave a little bit of a gap about that much up on the top so I wasn't overflowing or anything and I put my detergent in there so we're gonna try this out I'm gonna bring it down a little bit it is very light which is nice um, yeah so there you go I just put it on the mat over here so you just put it in like this push it down and do it a few times because it is and I'm gonna move you so you guys Okay guys, so I'm going to take it out and like that. and we're going to just flatten it out and wipe. Very light, easy to use, not heavy at all, which is great. Go ahead and it in it makes it nice. You can use this on your tile in the bathroom too. Um, yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. And um, I wanted to be able to get my base for it. You can use this dry. Sorry, let me move you. And uh, yeah. And then you have to kind of put it back. And put it in here. And angle it. Push down on it, I guess, a little bit. Oops, that did not work. So, let's see. 
handle came off. So push that down. Push it back up. And I'll be able to put it back on. So there we go. And it cleaned it. It took all the dirt off. Amazing. Problem is, the handle came off, but maybe it wasn't on there right, you know, from shipping. So, just snap it back on. I think. There. It could have been not on there completely right. So, there you go. And then you can go over it again if you want. Um, I don't like that. There we go. Okay, let me do it again in the clean. And I'll just kind of put some more water on there. Okay. And turn it. And there we go. Well, I think this will be nice um, once I get the hang of it a little bit. I'm used to the round one. And I think it'll make my tile nice and easy. So, and I'll be able to get down in here closer because the round one doesn't let you get as close underneath your cabinets and stuff like this one will. So, let's see. We got dirt on here. So, let's put it through the dirty and put it down in there. pad off real good but it's not easy to put in there and bring back out which I'm not happy about and, and of course the handle comes off maybe you have to take it off it didn't show that in the picture though that would not be good because that means I have to do this and take it off and snap it back on every single time I don't think I'm gonna like that too much and in the picture, in the video, it does not show that. So. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can get this back on here. That is not going to be fun to do. There. Putting it on and off like that, it's going to be a pain. Real pain. So, I'll have to figure out why this dirty side is like that. Okay guys, we figured it out. It's me. Excuse me. <laughs> Shea Bear figured it out. He did it and had no problems. Here I do it and I have a problem. So, I just bring it in and to hold it a little bit because it is light. And then that. And it brings out all the water. So, that's cool. Just get it wet again and do it again. So there we go. I think it'll be fine. I just got to get used to it, I guess. There. So very light. Very, very, very light. You can do this on walls too. And you can go up on your walls and do it. Um, so you can get all the dust off your walls and stuff. So I think it'll be handy and be lighter than my other one. Um, my other one was a spin one and um, I liked it. I've had it a long time but um, time for a new one. So and this one's so small it's compact that I can probably be, put it right beside the fridge over here where I have my broom and mop and um, I could probably just put it over here. 
so it won't be, I, I don't have to put it in the garage. So that will eliminate, you know, a bucket or two in the garage. So that's good. So I'll, I'll get used to it and I'll let you know. I'll do an update on it and see how much I like it, if I have any problems with it. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how to drain it. Very simple. Okay, so all you do is take this plug out and pull it out, just like so. And, whoop, that's the dry, dirty side. There should be something in there. Not much. Not much on that side. And you just put the plug back in. And then you turn it around, and you can drain this side out, just like that. So, yeah. So, not too bad. It's very compact. You can they show that you can use it on your tiles in your bathroom on your walk-in showers and stuff. And uh, yeah, so you can use it for lots of things. So I think I like it, but check out what gets the grease on here from his working, but that's okay. I did get white, so um, I believe they had other colors. Let me see on my phone here. And I'll just show you that they had other colors on here. Um, so you are interested in, in the color. Um, I have to back this up again. So show me the website. It's not easy to get to the website sometimes. Hmm, of course it's not going to do it. Nope. I think the price went up too. I think I saw $32 on here for it. Which I thought was a little pricey. Because, um, yeah, I thought that was a little bit much. Yeah, I seen one on here. It's $34.99 now. And they have two qualities, quantities, sorry. They have like a bucket and you can get the mop and you get two cloths with it. Or you can get a bucket and a mop and a four, four cloths with it. So, um, I got three with mine. Well, really, I got four because you got one on the, on the thing. So, I ended up at the four. But it's, at the four is $37.79. And I paid the, um... I got a better deal, I think. Pretty good. Not bad. Um, yeah, so. Here, let me see here. I, I paid $27.53 for it at the time. So, yeah. So there might be ones in out there because there's many of them from many manufacturers that have these. So you can go on there and maybe find the lowest price because they're basically all the same. I don't think that there's any difference in any of the them it's just a higher price so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it um yeah i'll let you know if i like it or not i have to use a little bit more um and hopefully i can use this for a while, while a little while until you know but i had the other one almost seven years and i bought it off of amazon i believe i put probably i think i paid about 32 dollars for it and I, so I well used it. So it's just time for a new one. Anyways, that's it, guys. Um, stay for the next one. Um, I have one that's on its way, and I ordered another one. So, well, it might take a little bit, but they're coming. So stay tuned. There's many more. Monkey says she's out. Bye, y'all.